So new tonight, a major gang crackdown aimed at making streets safer on the shoreline. New Haven police are telling us an FBI task force picked up more than two dozen members of a gang they say was behind a number of shootings and murders. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live outside New Haven Police Headquarters with all the details for us. Matt? Well, Dennis, the chief didn't want to get into specifics because this is an ongoing case, but he, along with the lieutenant heading up the investigation and intelligence unit, they both say that this group is responsible for the lion's share of the gun violence in the Elm City over the last few months. It's people that went to jail, have come back out and decided not uh, not to stop the violence. Dubbed Operation Fantasy Island and spearheaded by the FBI along with the New Haven police, we're told 25 members of the Island Brothers gang appeared in federal court after getting arrested this morning. And police say this group is behind most of the recent gun violence in the Elm City. There's some gang activity and there's a lot of drug trafficking activity, um, but, the, the, but what got us onto this group was the violence. We're told this investigation started a year ago with Project Longevity targeting and identifying those likely to commit violent acts. But the Island Brothers gang goes back even further. Police tell us years ago the same Island Brother members committed crimes focusing on the Quinnipiac Avenue area. But after getting released from prison, they returned to their old ways. This time, their violence spreading across the city. We want to send a message. We want to send a message that if you engage in gun violence, we're going to come after you with every resource that we have available to us. Now, the chief says this is an ongoing investigation that they expect more arrests and indictments. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.